Welcome to video E4. Yet another example with the Euclidean algorithm. Uh, in this problem, find the GCD of 23, 22, and 654. So the numbers are getting larger now. We certainly don't want to do prime factorization. Again, I could have made it be millions and billions, but we'll just keep it like this. All right, so again, start with the largest number. 23, 22. Find out basically how many of these go to there. Um, I know it can't be four. I'll try three. 654 times 3, 12, 16, 1962. Um, yeah, that'll work. So I've got 3 times 654. Now we're going to find out the remainder. So 23, 22, minus 1962. So zero, six, 360. Okay, carry them over. So basically what I did is I did three subtractions, just like in that basis video I did. And that's the, the difference after that. 654, how many 360s? Um, I think we can get, uh, can we just get one of them in there? Yeah, just one. All right, one times 360, so 654 minus 360, four, what do we have, nine, 294. Okay. So basically all I did is I did one subtraction there. That's my difference, my remainder more or less. 360 equals how many 294s? Just one. Let's find the remainder. Do that in my head. Add six, so 66. Bring those over. 294 equals how many 66s? Um, let's see here. We can try four. Okay, four. Find the remainder, 264, 294, that's going to be a 30. Carry those over. 66 equals two thirties plus a six. Oh, I can see we're getting close now. Bring those over. 30 equals five times six with no remainder. Remember when we get a remainder of zero, we stop. And then the GCD is the remainder just above. And again, I just want to emphasize, all we're doing is subtracting three times difference, subtracting difference, subtracting difference, subtracting four times difference. It's that basis that I showed you before. All right, so that's one more example of the Euclidean algorithm with larger numbers.